So first of all, I've got to apologise for not coming up with the next two videos that I promised you, but I will, okay? This week has been a little bit of a disruption for me. Um, those of you who follow me on my social media platforms will know all about it. So, what I'm doing is <laughs> working my sorry butt off in the garden just to kind of release all that energy, you know, because I don't want to be I don't want to be stoked up with this energy. You all know who I am. You all know what I stand for. And with two daughters and two granddaughters, for goodness sake, you all know where I'm going to stand on this issue. No group should take away anyone else's rights. End off. That's all. You know, I'm 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 happy with everyone to live the life they live. For goodness sake, everybody knows that who's been following me these past 13 years. <laughs> anyway, enough said. I'm going to show you what I've been doing. Well, as you can see, Patsy's just been sort of uh, directing me. <laughs> oh, and by the way, you know, I was sort of ill last week. Well, part of that was because Patsy was ill and I got very, very stressed with it. She's been to the vets a couple of times and um, she went off for food, you know, and stuff like that. And, oh, I don't really want to talk about it because I'm getting stressed again, even thinking about it. But thank God she's back in good form, aren't you, darling? Yes, my little girl is back in good form and her appetite's returned and all is good. So I'll get on with this short video. So you can see I've been cutting back. It's been a major cutback. I've managed to move most of the stuff, believe it or not. This is just the kind of remnants of what I've been moving. And um, you can see how much it's opened up the visual access to the cottage. I'll just walk down here a little bit. Um, one of the things that uh, was causing a bit of an issue here with me, you know, because I live on my own, was the fact that <clears throat> I didn't even get to see any car or any person come up this very long driveway until they actually got up to the cottage. So they kind of came round this corner here and then I saw them. So this area had to be cut back anyway, simply because it had been allowed just to grow and become very dense for about 12 or 13 years. And so what I've done is I've just literally cut everything back and um, allowed space for the trees to grow a little bit more and also just to open up this top of the driveway. So I haven't actually impinged upon the woodland at all. It's just been the shrubbery, all the stuff that I put on the edge of the woodland initially um, to protect the young trees as they grew. So I now have access, if I just walk backwards, hope I don't fall over. <laughs> if I walk backwards here, you can see that that's the kitchen window. So you can see now that I have a visual access right down to about, to about here. That's when the visual access starts to kind of grow a little bit faint. So it's a fair bit without, as I say, um, detracting, you know, taking anything away from the trees or the woodland, because as you know, they're very important to me. So if I look down the driveway now, if I bend down like this, I can just see the entrance. Although I obviously can't see that from the cottage. So there we go. I think it's been quite successful. Like I say, I've got some more stuff to move and then I've got a bit of tidying up to do and I'll probably be working on this for the next few days as well. But not that kind of hard slog work, which believe you me, has taken its toll upon my body. But um, yeah, it's all good. 
and uh, see that stump there that was a that was a tree in fact I planted two trees some of you may remember from many many years ago there was two big evergreen trees growing either side of the standing stone and uh, a few years back I cut them both down but I wanted this one left as a kind of a post because I had every intention of putting something on the top and voila there's my beautiful stone owl. I think he looks tremendous there. So, you can see my lilac tree now, and the cotoneaster, and the fuchsia. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased. And I've gone in here and I've cut back a lot of the overgrowth and um, placed the bird table there and made room for some of the shrubs you know obviously that lovely red berberus there as well so it does look as though it's been <laughs> attacked rather but i haven't finished tidying up yet i've got a lot more tidying up to do and then before things start to kind of grow back too much i've got a few nice plants to put in here so there we go Better get on with my work, that wheelbarrow has my name on it.